The E.W. Scripps Company is an American broadcasting company founded in 1878 as a chain of daily newspapers by Edward Willis. E. W. Scripps. It was also formerly a media conglomerate. The company is headquartered inside the Scripps Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. Its corporate motto is Give Light and the People Will Find Their Own Way. History Topic Nineteenth Century The E. W. Scripps Company was incorporated on December 1, 1987, but it traces its history to November 2, 1878, when Edward Willis Scripps published the first issue of the Cleveland Penny Press. In 1894, E. W. Scripps and his half-brother, George H. Scripps, organized their various papers into the first modern newspaper chain. In July 1895, it was named the Scripps McRae League with the addition of Cincinnati Post general manager Milton A. McRae as a partner. Topic: 20th century. On June 2, 1902, Scripps founded the Newspaper Enterprise Association NAIA, based in Cleveland, Ohio, as a news report service for different Scripps-owned newspapers. It started selling content to non-Scripps-owned newspapers in 1907, and by 1909, it became a more general syndicate, offering comics, pictures and features as well. It moved from Cleveland to Chicago in 1915, with an office in San Francisco. Nea rapidly grew and delivered content to 400 newspapers in 1920 and about 700 in 1930. Scripps created United Press in 1907 by the uniting of three smaller news syndicates. The Scripps Howard News Service was formed in 1917, United Feature Syndicate was formed in 1919. On November 3, 1922, the Scripps McRae League was renamed Scripps Howard Newspapers to recognize Roy W. Howard. On November 23, 1922, the E. W. Scripps Company was placed in trust for E. W. Scripps children and grandchildren. The company's shares were divided into two types, Class A common shares, which were traded on the New York Stock Exchange, and common voting shares, which were not publicly traded and elected a majority of the company's directors. A number of media companies, including the New York Times Company and the Washington Post Company, are governed by this system so that the descendants of the company's founders can keep control of the company. E. W. Scripps died in 1926. United Feature Syndicate became a dominant player in the syndication market in the fall of 1931 thanks to Scripps' acquisition of the New York World, which controlled the Pulitzer Company's syndication arms, Press Publishing Co., and World Feature Service. In 1958, Scripps merged United Press with Hearst's International News Service to form United Press International, selling it off in 1982. In May 1978, Scripps merged United Feature Syndicate and NAIA to form United Media Enterprises. In 1990, the company completed a new downtown Cincinnati headquarters, the Scripps Center. Topic: 21st century. 
On October 16, 2007, the company announced that it would separate into two publicly traded companies, the E.W. Scripps Company newspapers, TV stations, licensing, syndication and Scripps Networks Interactive NYSE, SNI, HGTV, Food Network, DIY Network, Cooking Channel formerly known as Fine Living, Travel Channel and Great American Country. The transaction was completed on July 1, 2008. After a test launch at WFTS-TV in 2009, during 2010 Scripps stations launched YouTube channels. These are similar to YouTube channels operated by Hearst Television and Lynn Television. On February 24, 2011, United Media struck a distribution deal with Universal Uclick, now known as Andrews McMeal Syndication, for syndication of the company's 150 comic strip and news features, which became effective on June 1 of that year. At that point, United Media, and by extension the Scripps Company, got out of the syndication business. On September 12, 2011, Scripps partnered with Cox Media Group and Raycom Media to launch Right This Minute, a viral video program. On the same day, Scripps launched The List, a news magazine. Both were part of an approach for homegrown. Programming programming created by Scripps. Raycom also launched America Now on the same day. The creator of RTM and The List applied this homegrown programming approach to Tenya in 2015, with the launch of TD. Jake's. Scripps launched Let's Ask America in 2013, now cancelled, partnering with Telepictures to do so, and Pickler and Ben in 2017. On October 3, 2011, Scripps announced it was purchasing the television arm of McGraw Hill for $212 million. This purchase nearly doubled the number of Scripps stations to 19 with a combined reach of 13% of U.S. households. Upon the 2012 death of E. W. Scripps' grandson, Robert Scripps, the Edward W. Scripps Trust was dissolved and its stock divided among the surviving trustees. The Scripps Howard News Service est, 1917, shut down in 2013, after 96 years in operation. On July 30, 2014, Scripps and Journal Communications announced that the two companies would merge and spin off their newspaper assets. The deal created a broadcast group under the E.W. Scripps Company name and retaining the Cincinnati headquarters, and a newspaper company based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, under the Journal Media Group name. The FCC approved the deal on December 12, 2014, and it was approved by shareholders on March 11, 2015. The merger and spin-off were completed on April 1, 2015. In turn, Journal Media Group was acquired by Gannett Company on April 8, 2016. Gannett had also shed their television and broadcast operations into a spin-off, Tengya, months after the Scripps Journal merger. In April 2016, Demand Media announced the sale of the humor, listicle website Cracked.com to EW Scripps. In June, it acquired podcast service Stitcher from Deezer. On August 1, 2017, Scripps announced the purchase of Cats Broadcasting and its three networks plus Bounce, which Cats operates, for $292 million, acquiring the other 95% of the company. The purchase was completed on October 2, 2017. Topic. Scripps newspapers 
In 1997, Scripps bought daily Texas newspapers Abilene, Wichita Falls, San Angelo and Plano, plus the paper in Anderson, SC from Hart Hanks Communications, along with 25 non-daily newspapers and San Antonio-based Ken's TV and Ken's AM. The purchase price was to be between $605 and $775 million, depending on a federal ruling. The company, before the merger with Journal and subsequent spin off, owned and operated newspapers in 13 American markets. Ventura County Star, Camarillo, California. Reading Record Searchlight, Reading, California. Naples Daily News, Naples, Florida. Treasure Coast Newspapers. The Stewart News, Stewart, Florida. Indian River Press Journal, Vero Beach, Florida. The Sunt. Lucy News Tribune, Fort Pierce, Florida. The Jupiter Courier, Weekly, Jupiter, Florida. Evansville Courier and Press, Evansville, Indiana. Fullerton Daily News Tribune, Fullerton, California. The Gleaner, Henderson, Kentucky. The Anderson Independent Mail, Anderson, South Carolina. The Knoxville News Sentinel, Knoxville, Tennessee. The Commercial Appeal, Memphis. Tennessee, The Abilene Reporter News, Abilene, Texas, San Angelo Standard Times, San Angelo, Texas, Times Record News, Wichita Falls, Texas, Kitsap Sun, Bremerton, Washington. Topic: Other newspapers owned by Scripps. Topic Syndicates United Media, nineteen seventy eight to twenty eleven Composed of United Feature Syndicate, Est, nineteen nineteen Syndicated many notable comic strips, including Peanuts, Garfield, Leal Abner, Dilbert, Nancy and Marmaduke. Newspaper Enterprise Association Est, 1902 — originally a secondary news service to the Scripps Howard News Service, later evolved into a general syndicate, best known for syndicating Ali Oop, Freckles and his friends, The Born Loser and Frank and Ernest, in addition to an annual Christmas comic strip to distribution rights to properties syndicated by United Media were outsourced to Universal Uclick in February 2011. While United Media effectively ceased to exist, Scripps still maintains copyrights and intellectual property rights. Scripps also operated United Press International, United Press from its 1907 inception until a 1958 merger with Hearst's International News Service until selling it off in 1982. Topic Broadcasting EW Scripps Television Division currently owns 35 television stations in 26 markets, 17 ABC affiliates, 5 NBC affiliates, 5 Azteca America affiliates, 2 My Network TV affiliates, 2 CBS affiliates, 2 Fox affiliates, 1 CW affiliate, and 1 station independent of any network affiliation. Scripps also previously owned the Shop at Home Network from 2000 until 2006. Shop at Home in turn owned five television stations, all as a division of its cable network division. 
In October 1995, Comcast announced the purchase of Scripps Cable Provider Operation. From 1990 to 1995, Scripps was a partner in the regional sports network SportSouth, along with Turner Broadcasting and Telecommunications, Inc. In 1996, the network was sold to News Corporation and became Fox Sports South. Attempts to use Shop at Home as a complementary service to Food Network and HGTV by selling products connected to personalities of those networks were middling compared to competitors QVC and HSN. On May 22, 2006, Scripps announced that it was to cease operations of the network and intended to sell each of Shop at Home's five owned and operated television stations. Jewelry Television eventually acquired Shop at Home, but Scripps still intended to sell its affiliated stations. Jewelry Television discontinued most Shop at Home operations in March 2008. On September 26, 2006, Scripps announced that it was selling its shop at home TV stations to New York City based multicultural television for $170 million. On October 3, 2011, Scripps announced it was purchasing all seven television stations owned by the McGraw Hill companies for $212 million. The sale is a result of McGraw Hill's decision to exit the broadcasting industry to focus on its other core properties, including its publishing unit. This deal was approved by the FTC on October 31 and the FCC on November 29. The deal was completed on December 30, 2011. On February 10, 2014, Scripps announced it has reached a deal to acquire Buffalo ABC affiliate WKBW TV and Detroit My Network TV affiliate WMYD for $110 million. The sale was approved by the FCC on May 2, 2014 and was completed on June 16, 2014. This deal has created a duopoly between WMYD and ABC affiliate WXYZ TV. On January 25, 2018, it was announced that Scripps had placed its radio station unit for sale. The divestiture of these stations, which were acquired through the company's 2015 acquisition of Journal Communications, would result in the separation of Scripps's television stations in Tulsa, Omaha, Milwaukee, Boise and Tucson from their co-owned radio clusters. In the case of Tulsa, KJRH-TV would be separated from KFAQ for the second time. The two stations, then used using the shared KVOO call sign, were first split up in 1970, when Central Plains Enterprises sold the then KVOO TV to Scripps. In June 2018, Griffin Communications reached a deal to buy the Scripps Tulsa radio cluster. The sale was completed on July 28, 2018. In July 2018, Good Karma Brands reached a deal to buy the Scripps Milwaukee radio cluster. The sale was completed on November 1, 2018. On August 20, 2018, Scripps agreed to purchase ABC affiliates KXXV in Waco, Texas and satellite station KRHDCD in Bryan, Texas and WTXL-TV in Tallahassee, Florida, which are being spun off from the Gray Television Raycom Media merger in order to alleviate ownership conflicts involving Gray's ownership of CBS affiliate KW. 
WTX-TV and its semi-satellite KBTX-TV in the Waco market and CBS affiliate WCTV and Retro Television Network affiliate WFXU in the Tallahassee market. On October 29, 2018, Cordillera Communications announced that it would sell all but one of its television stations to Scripps. KVOA in Tucson, Arizona is not included in the deal as Scripps already owns KGUN-TV and KWBA in that market, and Cordillera will concurrently sell KVOA to Quincy Media. The deal is expected to close in Q1 of 2019. Topic. Television stations Notes Asterisk Asterisk Indicates stations built and signed on by Scripps Indicates stations that were previously owned by McGraw-Hill prior to its acquisition by Scripps in 2011 Hash Hash indicates stations that were acquired by Scripps from Granite Broadcasting in 2014. Sections indicates stations that were previously owned by Journal Communications prior to its merger with Scripps in 2015. Indicates stations that were acquired by Scripps from Raycom Media in 2019. Other notes. One owned by Raycom Media, it is operated through a shared services agreement. Two owned by Venture Technologies Group, it is operated through a shared services agreement. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Former Scripps owned stations. Topic Television Topic General Commercial Stations Topic Shop at Home Owned and Operated Stations Topic Radio Notes Asterisk Asterisk indicates a station that was built and signed on by Scripps Plus Plus indicates a station that was owned by Scripps but operated by Bello through a time brokerage agreement during Scripps ownership. Carrot Carrot indicates a station that was owned by Venture Technologies Group but operated by Scripps through a shared service agreement. Topic: <laughs> National Spelling Bee. Scripps also operates the National US Spelling Bee. The final competition is in Washington, D.C., and it is broadcast on ESPN and ABC. Lower levels are organized by the school, then county and eventually to the final competition. E.W. Scripps will retain ownership of the property in the split of its newspaper and broadcasting businesses. Topic. See also Edward W. Scripps Ellen Browning Scripps James E. Scripps Charles Scripps Scripps Howard Foundation Scripps Ranch Edward W. Estlow Scripps Networks Interactive